Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Garb Experiment. We are back on Super Liminal. So we are now at what time is that? It was 3 a.m. again. We were slowly going up in time. So let's get through this one. Emergency exit protocol initiated. Please prepare to conclude your Somnasculpt experience in 10, 9, 8. Error. Error logged by. Orientation protocol. Stand by for analysis. What is going on? Oh, we got the uh. Error analysis complete. You Red are exhibiting paint again. signs consistent with an increase in fear, hopelessness, and frustration. This is inconceivable, as Somnasculpt therapy is proven to correlate with a decrease in these emotions. Right, so we're going the wrong way for what they're analyzing us for. Hypothesis. Patient was improperly oriented. Conclusion. <laughs> okay. Impossible. Reformulating. Can we open any of these? Improved hypothesis. Patient requires additional Somnasculpt therapy. Conclusion. Emergency exit protocol cannot proceed. Emergency exit Wake protocol up. has been emergency destroyed. Oh. Well, how do we go? Instruction. Continue with Somnasculpt therapy indefinitely on an independent basis, as all orientation resources have been exhausted. This concludes your standard orientation protocol. Goodbye. Whoa! Right. 3 a.m. again. We're back at the start, as we always started off, heading back into the reception. Yep, here we go. Okay, so... Right, we're going back again. We're going to be stuck in a little mini loop now, are we? Getting to reception and then going back again. Yep. Right, let's leave that. Oh. Oh, so you have to press it. Open the door. Oh! Whoa! Well, oh, that's weird. Oh, no. Hello? Oh, that's really weird. Why is the room like that? I hear another one. Ah, here it is on the chair. What is going on? Was I meant to turn that off? Oh. What's going on? How do I get out? Have I well and truly broken it? Is there anything we can do? Are we ever going to get out of this dream? Ah! Ah, yes, we can make ourselves a door. Need a big up. Aha, we're out. Alright, we've got another one of these. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Thank you for completing the Somnusculpt Standard Orientation Protocol. Before you begin the first phase of therapy, I'd like to briefly describe the finite and fragile nature of the dream state. Oh great, it just stopped. Oh, another switch. There we go. Oh, another one. Right, we're just going round in circles now. Okay. What's with the big... Oh! What 
course, with the big horn piece here. We're going through here now. Oh my god. Right, do we have to go up through there now? Oh no, we made an exit here. Oh, away we go. Oh, we got one of these doors to go through. Aha! There's a hole in the ceiling. Where are we now? Of course, nothing is more challenging than the difficulty of changing perspective, of fundamentally altering your perceptions in a way that will enable you to face dire, trial-by-fire scenarios with solutions that could not be found otherwise. Okay. So they're trying more extreme ways to get out of it now. Aha, we have a block here. Oh! Where, what? What happened? I fell down that little tiny gap. Right. We've got ourselves a staircase here. Whoa! I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. Okay, in. Exit moved. Oh. Why can't we go that way? Percep Perception is not reality. Why is that flashing? Can't take any of these off though. Cycled cardboard only, that's not helpful. Stuck in another loop. Right, now it's changed. We're going this way instead. Right. Okay. Getting a nice noise now. Horn four. Ah, now it's gone wrong again. How many times are we going to have to go through this? Is there a special order to this? Because when it goes, the horrible noise, it goes back to the start. Five now, and now we're back to the start again. Whoa, we finally made it through. That took way too long. I didn't even know what I was doing, I just kind of kept going for it, going for it, and I finally got through. I don't know what, what have we here. Let's make that a little bit smaller. All right, I guess we're going up here. Can I swim in this? Uh, I don't. I don't want to find out. Actually, what? My box, my cube disappeared. Oh, there it is. Aha! We made it. All right then. Ah oh, no! What's this say? While we respect the unique progress of every patient, you must understand that it is possible to completely exhaust your supply of dreams. 
thereby entering a state in which you will not be able to wake up, even with the help of triggering mechanisms. Okay, great. So we can't wake up now. Right, let's get out of here. Let's figure out where we've got to go. There's a piece of wall there. Why is the piece of floor? Oh! Right up there. Oh my. This just gets weirder and weirder. Wow. Is that like executive suite or something? Alright, I guess we're heading out the back here then. Bring this cube with me just in case. Okay. Down this way, I guess. Or not. Oh! Perception is reality. Oh! That's arrow. Okay, just keep going forwards until maybe I see another arrow. I don't know which way the right way was now. This way. This way. Through here. This way. Aha! Way out! Please listen carefully for the sound of an alarm clock, which will automatically play if you are approaching a destabilizing dream weight. Oh, wow. That was weird. All right. Oh, of course the lift would just disappear. Where are we going now, then? Can't which way was forward or where the lift was. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's weird. Makes it look real and then you get up towards it and it's not. Is this going to be the same in a second? Yep. It's this way. Surely it's this way. Because I can see the edge of the wall. No, it's not. What the? What is going on? What's this? Welcome. Guess we're turning the alarm clock off. Okay, did I wake up? This is highly I'm unusual. It appears you have entered the Sonascult diagnostic framework. Patients do not have access to this dream. Oh, snowing. Paradox Behavior 101. What's through here? Inception? Well, I guess we're going through here then. We've got to make this bigger. Makes it snow every time I drop it though. There we go. Diagnostic warning. Unrealistic use of dream objects may result in dream integrity fail state state states. What do you mean? Am I meant to keep doing that? Alright. Aha! Oh no. That's not right. What? When did we do that? Ah, alright, what's. I feel like I've got... Because I can hear music. What's with all the soundproofing? Alright. 
Ah, eh. Sé uno pequeñazo. Still hear the music though. Why is that smaller now? Whoa. Was I meant to do that? Am I changing in size? The music's still playing though. Diagnostic warning. warning. Paradox prevention protocols may not be fully implemented. Implement Whoa. paradox from creating any refrains. Explosive dream overload. overload. Okay, result. Oh, I think I paradox broke it. Overload. Oh, no. Please overload for dream explosion. S can overload dream overcall refrain frame. Oh, no. I definitely broke it. Or do we wake up? But where are we now? Oh, this is weird. I can like go through everything. Not an exit. Well, I'm gonna try it. Oh no. Alright. This is really weird. This is an exit though, isn't it? We've completely broken their facility. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And many years ago, I had a dream. I found myself in a place where I understood that each of us begins as nothing. Where everything I perceived was shaped by seeing it exactly the way I wanted to. White space. Okay, what does that mean then? Deception. Aha, there's a doorway in the distance. Let's head there. It is getting closer. Are we getting near the end of this then? Are we actually ever going to wake up? Oh no! I was chucking it down. It's a pain that I can't run in this game. I'd have to get places much quicker if I could run. Alright, at least it's not raining. That's a weird noise. Oh no! Not an exit. Alright. So what is an exit? Aha! Just keep going away from this. There we go. And we're going to fall through the floor again. Right, let's just keep running forward. Because I don't know what is real and what is fake anymore now. On the back of here. There we go. Door in the distance. Let's get to it. It's hard to tell that I'm moving because just everything is so white. How do I get up? Oh no, I've lost the door now. There we go. But in white space, I also faced the greatest challenge I could imagine. Because with a lifetime of life itself behind me, and all of the weight that it carried, I realized that seeing things the way I wanted to 
was not as easy as it used to be. Right, okay. Right, let's just go round this. See a way through there. Oh, we're into containers now. That's a huge cone, though. There's a massive switch. I turned it off. Okay, up the stairs. Or not. The exit's up that way. Oh. Aha. There we go. Finding the way out. Or not. No, back in... Oh, I thought it was a lift. What is this place? Seriously. Am oh, I stuck in a loop again? I'm going to do something with these windows. I don't know. I'm just gonna keep going this way. See what happens. Oh! Alright, I can go out this way. Ha, ah, find another door. Need somewhere new. Got another tape recording. You're well beyond dreaming now, and further out than anyone has ever come back from. But we hope that you won't get discouraged. After all, if this is a place of pure perspective, isn't it also a place where a different point of view could make anything possible? Isn't that why you came here? I have no idea why I came here. I just wanted a good night's nice rest. I've gone further than anybody's gone before and ever come back. Well, we're going to try and come back. I can grab that. And that one. Ooh, let's play a game of chess. Oh no! Alright, is there an order I've got to step on these? No! Ah, I think I've got to put them on and then I can stand on them. Is that the way to do it? It is. Grab that one over there then. On. Grab that one. There we go. Don't grab that one yet. Get off before I grab it. <laughs> I just fall straight back down again. There we go. To there. Wait. Grab that one. Put it there just in case. And through the door we go. Alright, do we go up there? Yeah. How do I get up? I need it to be bigger, but I can't... Nothing else I can grab. Nowhere else I can go. So I'm trying to find the edges. Yeah, there is edges all the way around.
Oh, okay, I see. Aha! Wedge. Come back with me. Block. You're coming back with me too. Perfect. Okay, maybe I could just use the wedge. The wedge of cheese will help us escape. I'm not going to make that. Still tried it anyway. That should be big enough though. No, let's make it bigger. Right, that should do the trick. There we go. Okay, are we going down? Is this the right thing to do? See a way out. Oh god. It's like one of those things that you stare at and then you look at something else and it makes everything else move. Oh, okay, I'm gonna look down because that's messing with my head. Exit. Oh! What time is it? 7.59 a.m. Just falling away from the clock. Oh, 8 a.m. Can we wake up? Oh, not again. What is that noise? Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And by now, you may have realized that all of this has happened exactly the way it was supposed to. You see, everyone who comes to the Institute does so because they feel that they are no longer in control of something important to them. Right. But, more often than not, the problem is not that the problems we face can't be solved. The problem is that we become so afraid of failure that we refuse to see our problems from a new perspective. And so, we do the same things again and again and again. And therein, of course, we find exactly the failure we were looking for. Do we now? We're going back through the level now. So weird. So all of this was on purpose. And we're all in the actual facility properly for the whole time. Your life will always be a struggle, and you will always have problems. But today you have the chance to see things differently. Even though it meant facing obstacles that seemed impossible at first, you thought outside the box and you overcame them. Because you saw things from every angle, you understood them for what they really were. Because you kept moving forward, no matter how far off the path you were told you were headed or how unexpected it became, you found your way. Yeah, I still didn't like that bit. Can I just go home now, though? Really amazing game, though. In a few minutes, you'll be back in the real world. Some part of you will say that none of this was real. Whoa. So how could it have really meant anything? But just like the power of perspective itself, it will have been as real as you believed it to be. All you've got to do is wait.
and there we go, guys. I think that is the end, I want to say. A brilliant game, though. Really, really tested your mind on how to sort things out and was very trippy at some points. But I really enjoyed that. If you guys did as well, make sure you're subscribed and make sure you hit the like button to show me that you enjoyed that game and you want more sort of different games because I'm enjoying playing these sorts of different games that we have and I'm sure there'll be some more around. But if you did enjoy this episode, guys, make sure you hit the like button. Of course, if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notified when I upload the next episode. Thanks, guys, for watching.